If you've ever looked at old plat maps of Wilton Township, you have seen a section of land marked as Lawton's Reserve. Toward the northern part of the reserve, you can see Forked Creek outlined, and in the present day Lawton Preserve, owned by the Forest Preserve District of Will County, you can also see the creek mapped there. This image from the National Archives is of the 1832 Treaty of Tippecanoe, which created Lawton's Reserve. This is the first page of the treaty, and I will put a link in the description to the National Archives. This is the second page of the treaty, which describes a treaty between the United States of America and the Potawatomi tribe of Indians of the Prairie and Kankakee was made and concluded at Camp Tippecanoe in the state of Indiana on the 20th day of October in the year of our Lord, 1832. Page four of the treaty describes the articles. Um, the first article says, and I know this is hard to read, so again, I'll put a link in the description. Article the first, the said Potawatomi tribe of Indians cede to the United States the tract of land included within the following boundary. Beginning at a point on Lake Michigan, 10 miles southward of the mouth of the Chicago River, thence in a direct line to a point on the Kankakee River, 10 miles above its mouth, thence with said river and the Illinois River to the mouth of the Fox River, being the boundary of a, set, of a session made by them in 1816, thence with the southern boundary of the Indian Territory to the state line between Illinois and Indiana, thence north with said line to Lake Michigan, thence to the shore of Lake Michigan to the place of beginning. Article 2D from the session aforesaid, the following tracts shall be reserved, to wit, five sections for Shawanasi to include Little Rock Village. The description of land beginning at a point on Lake Michigan, 10 miles south of the mouth of the Chicago River, River and um, referring to the point on the Kankakee River, is describing a treaty signed in 1816 which created the boundary of a corridor 10 miles along on both sides of the corridor that would become the INM Canal. And as you can see on this um, federal plat map of Wilton Township, you can see in the upper left-hand corner what is now Hoff Road, which lies along the path of that original, what was called the Indian Boundary Line, which um, marked that 10-mile corridor. This is now page five of the 1832 treaty. And you can see this is where it says, for Joseph Lawton, son of Waskisha, one section, and for Sanaja Wine, one section, both to be located at 12 Mile Grove. And here again, just a zoomed in version of that federal plat map that shows what was called the Old Indian Boundary Line, and then the two reservations which were described in the treaty. And this map from the Illinois Secretary of State Archives shows a very early um, proposed route of the Illinois and Michigan Canal, and you can see that corridor that was defined by the Treaty of St. Louis of 1816. Um, you can see that shaded area beginning at the shore of Lake Michigan and continuing um, you know, towards Lockport and Joliet and then following the Illinois River, you can see that corridor there. And in terms of what happened to the land, it was eventually subdivided and sold, although the reservation names can still be seen on plat books at least until 1909.